rumors are flying that China might be sneaking NVIDIA's H100 GPUs into the country, and the entire US tech sector is panicking. You see, NVIDIA's H100 GPUs are like the golden ticket for AI. Okay. They're the single most essential part for training large models like ChatGPT. And because of that, the US has strict export controls to stop China from getting... Wait, what is up with the free market competition? Aren't people not allowed to buy from other companies and manufacturers? What's going on? From getting its hands on them. But just yesterday, DeepSeek, which is a Chinese company, mm -hmm. came out with an AI model that was built in under two months with a budget of less than $10 million and a team of fewer than 200 people. And their app is already ranked number one on the App Store, with users reporting extremely high-level capabilities. Mm. But the problem here is that DeepSeek claims it only cost $5.5 million to train their model, so while companies like OpenAI, Meta, and Microsoft have spent billions on their own AI tools, oh and have God. pledged to spend hundreds of billions in 2025, with most of that money going to NVIDIA's AI GPUs. So if their chips are no longer <laughs> essential, the market would be flooded overnight with second-hand NVIDIA GPUs, crashing prices, and reshaping the entire AI oh hardware industry. I don't think chips would not be needed because they're still very much powerful and they do a lot of the work that these people need. You can't just pretend that it's going to work on old models. No, no, it's not going to work like that. They have to be on some very, very powerful chips. This completely turned the America upside down, man. Shares on several leading tech giants are losing billions in market value as an AI tool out of China gains traction in the highly competitive global arena. NVIDIA, which makes all the chips that most of these technologies use to do all this computing, it's fallen by 15% so far this morning and still falling. Alphabet, the parent company of Google, down 3%. So you can see the impact it's having. It's causing a lot of questions when it comes to AI. Does it need to be so expensive? Are these companies overstating what it costs? At the same rate, they're asking questions about deep seek as well. Are they really telling the truth? Can AI really be done so cheaply? I'm sure Jensen, the CEO of Nvidia, was probably looking at his pockets like, <laughs> You should see what Trump said. How does Trump usually say it? China, 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 China. China, China. He had some choice words when this happened. Today and over the last couple of days, I've been reading about uh, China and some of the companies in China, one in particular, coming up with a faster method of AI and much less expensive method. And that's good because you don't have to spend this much money. I view that as a positive, as an asset. Really? So the release of deep seek really? AI from a Chinese company should be a wake-up call for our industries that we need to be laser-focused on competing to win because we have the greatest scientists in the world. Even mm. Chinese leadership told me that. But this is very <laughs> unusual when you hear a deep seek, when you hear somebody, somebody come up with something. We always have the ideas. We're always first. So I would say that's a positive. That could be very much a positive development. So instead of spending billions and billions, you'll spend less and you'll come up with hopefully the same solution now let's ask trump that 600 billion dollars you got from saudi do you plan to return it back or give them a bit of a discount I, i'm trying to know because if you can make more with less let's see if that happens but you can clearly tell that they're not going to be happy with this as much as he said it you know how it is if you take your money away from someone's pocket someone's going to get upset you won't be seeing people doing the kumbaya and clapping hands no way no no how could it be more clear than this week when deep seek a chinese ai says they they were they were able to create things dirt cheap. How? By leveraging what they've taken from us, stolen from us, or <laughs> leveraged from us. It's outrageous, and it needs to be addressed. Stolen. I think standards is the right model. As I've said, the, the way we've done cybersecurity, which is the gold standard of the world, and everyone in the world follows our model, I think we should try to have a light-touch model like that in AI. Set those standards so the world heeds our standards and goes Your with our standards. standards would be very important for America and something I'm going to try to drive. Your standards? What does he mean by that? Even the comment sections are eating him up. Look, typical USA. Wait, how is it theft when you bought it? Your standards mean your approval, right? It's like as soon as something comes into the competition, it's a big problem. But America is trying its best to sanction China so much to avoid them getting ahead that it's now coming to bite them right in the butt. And now they're doing all of these things. Particularly in the very near future, we're going to be placing tariffs on foreign production of computer chips, semiconductors, and pharmaceuticals to return production production of these essential goods to the United States of America. They left us and they went to Taiwan where 
which is about 98% of the chip business, by the way. It's like, bro, just just do, compete, make it happen. Don't make excuses. I mean, you guys have already seen those memes that have been going around after the Deep Seek was launched. Honestly, it's impossible. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave with a bunch of scraps. Yo, they're completely killing the competition. These people who were running OpenAI specifically, they thought they had their hands in the cookie jar. They thought they had it on lock. Let's take a little trip down memory lane. Look, the way this works is we're gonna tell you it's totally hopeless to compete with us on training foundation models you shouldn't try and it's your job to like try anyway. Mm, mm. And I believe both of those things. <laughs> I, I think it, I think it is pretty them. hopeless, but. Look at them clapping. This is gonna age terribly. This was back in 2023. Man, Sam Altman thought he had it, bro. He thought he was the quickest man in the West until China came in and just went, Whoa! oh my God, headshot. And for the record, I'm not anti-America. So I don't want any of my videos to come off as if I'm against them. I'm all for invention and growth and the development of technology for the greater good of humanity so that it benefits everyone else and not just the pockets of the very few, if you know what I mean. We're like in the first inning of AI. We are magnitudes of compute away from solving real problems. But the bottom line is this. We aren't going to beat China by letting billionaires hide AI behind paywalls to enrich themselves. Facts. China's state-backed open source projects are important for the entire industry because the last thing we want is the keys of AI innovation to be held by the government the and greedy tech billionaires. Yeah, exactly. Even if they're ours. You can't. These billionaires wanted to milk the whole market. They thought they had it, man. But now that it's DeepSeek is open source, a lot of people can actually look and look through the source code and actually build on top of it or even build their own model around it. Imagine once OpenAI introduces Sora or image generation and stuff like that. And then DeepSeek just comes and then starts making cheaper alternative versions to that. Oh my God. And you can already know what's gonna happen because think about it. TikTok stepped into the market. They were taking everyone's attention because people were now were moving from Facebook, Instagram, and what did the government do? They were like, hey, hey, they're taking your data. We don't question when other companies do it, like when Facebook does it. You know, they're taking our data. I'm sure they're also doing the exact same thing. What's that saying? You can't start throwing rocks from inside glass houses. Chinese model that just came out, this company DeepSeek, um, they're doing really good work. It's a very advanced model, mm -hmm. and if you ask it for any negative opinions, it will not give you anything. This is like a huge geopolitical competition and like China's running at it super hard and like we should want the American companies and the American standard to win. And like, if there's gonna be an open source model that everyone uses, we should want it to be an American model. If the government were helping American companies rather than kind of slowing you down at every step along the way. What are you talking about government helping? Man, Trump has literally done everything in his power to make sure that you guys are ahead. Bro, he's put, didn't he not put sanctions on semiconductors and chips to not go into China? Isn't he not trying to also secure funds from Saudi Arabia to make sure you guys have all that money? Like, what more do you guys want? I mean, yeah. there's, there's an extent to which, okay, the American tech industry is leading, so maybe the government can, like, so you're get in the way a little bit, and maybe the, the American industry will still lead, but I don't know. It's, I think it's getting really competitive. I think, like, it's easy for the government to take for granted that the US will lead on all these things when I, I think it's a very close competition and we need the help, not, you know, we need them to not kind of like, you know, be, be, a, be a force that's helping us to, to do these things. What? Bro, let me see the comments. He's complaining about DeepSeek, but Meta, Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI do the same. In fact, you have all of the main big tech giants all together up there in the United States, and you're telling me one company out there is giving you a run for your money. Come on. Yeah, this guy has it correct. Competition is what's good, not monopolies like in US. And that's the problem. When you guys try to hold it, this information and close everything up so tightly, people outside are going to keep working on building models that can surpass what you just had. <laughs> we all knew that this was coming. It was only a matter of time. US officials are now looking into whether there are national security implications for the Chinese AI app, you guessed it, Deep seek. I mean, I'm just gonna have a wild stab in the dark here and say, there probably is. And maybe a way to fix that 
would be to uh, sell it to an American company. Speaking of which, actually, <laughs> OpenAI has now also claimed that it has evidence that DeepSeek used its own company's model to train its chatbots, hinting that there could be a potential case for intellectual property theft. What? Oh, and DeepSeek should not be expecting a smooth 2025 after the disruption that they caused. Because after they shot to number one in the App Store, they were forced to temporarily limit user registrations due to malicious attacks on their servers. Here we go. I wonder where those malicious attacks were coming from. This is like season two, episode one. We already went with season one of TikTok's situation and it being a national security and how they're spying on you. Now, apparently this is season two where Deep Seek is doing the exact same thing and it's an issue for national security. What more does Mark Zuckerberg want now when you ask me this? What more does he want support for? Your government is literally doing its best to make sure that they can block anything that China brings to the market. Jason Hinkle uh, posted this on Twitter, talking about how China has defeated America. He mentioned several different industries. Look at these, a, a deep seek, <laughs> completely misspelled it, beats OpenAI. BYD beats Tesla. Huawei beats Apple. Huawei beats US telecoms. Alibaba beats Amazon. CATL beats US lithium ion. TikTok beats Instagram. DJI beats all US drones. Team Wanshin beats US e-commerce. Bree beats Build Back Better World. China is also beating the US in infrastructure, high-speed railway, healthcare, education, space technology, manufacturing, defense technology, gold production, energy, housing, affordability, and annual GDP. What is happening? China, I don't know what y'all are doing, but y'all have been pushing P. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I, I want us to have this discussion. I'm gonna do more videos on this and a lot of different topics about what's happening in America, what's going on in China, and all these new inventions. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed. I appreciate everyone who's also subscribed who's joined the channel. You don't know how much it means to me. Really, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>